Hi, I'm Kim from Simply Charming Reefs. Um, I'm coming in tonight to show you guys how to make this adorable candy cane. I know that it's a little um, soon for Christmas, but you got to get the supplies and get started while you can. So I want to share with y'all how I make this. So as you come in, let me know that you're here. Say hey. That way I know that I'm live and that the video is working. So, majority of the supplies that I'm using, um, I did get from the Dollar Tree. The ribbons, I did not get from the Dollar Tree. And the ornaments. But I did use um, mesh and to wrap the candy cane. But I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's see. Okay, so... You can buy it's a white this wire um, candy cane. You can buy it at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna do a silver mesh, and that one took one. But I'm thinking with this lighter color, I may need two. So I have two rolls of the silver mesh, and then I'm gonna do this red and silver ribbon and then this one inch ribbon. So I have a two and a half inch and a one and a half inch ribbon. And then I'm gonna, I don't know if I wanna use this um, silver tinsel or either the red. Once I get it together, I'll be able to tell which one I wanna use. So I pulled both of them just in case. Um, I've got my uh, zip tie. And then I want to add some, um, a little bit of ornaments to it too. So on this one, I just added some regular ornaments, but I want to add these picks for what I've got in mind. So, and then I have um, some floral wire just in case I need it. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use a pipe cleaner to make a hanger with. Okay, so first, I'm just going to start wrapping it. As you come on, let me know that you're here so that I know that the video is working. Tell me, hey. Let me know where you're from. I always like to know where everybody's from. Hey, Roberta. So I'm making a candy cane door hanger. This is one that I made earlier today. So we're gonna make another one. And um, I got the candy cane base, which is this. I got it at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna use mesh to um, wrap it. And I got this at the Dollar Tree also. The ribbons and um, ornaments I did not get from the Dollar Tree. I got that from just ribbons that I, I use in my wreaths. So it turned out really cute. So, okay. So whenever I start, I want to start up. I want to turn it over to where the groove is so it's backwards. And I want to start up at the top of the candy cane. And I just take my mesh and I want to like I take it and I double it up to where it's about like that to begin with so it's just folded and then I put it on now I'm gonna let half of it hang off at the bottom because I've got to wrap it back over so you can, I hope you can see so I've got a little bit hanging down to where it'll cover up, and then I've got a tail here. So I'm going to take the tail, and I'm just going to wrap it over, and then I'm going to take the extra, and I'm going to wrap it over. And 
this is where it's tricky. Just getting started here. And you want to make sure you pull it really tight. Okay. And you go constantly hold it. Do not let it go as you're wrapping it. And some people will hot glue that in. I didn't um, feel that I needed to hot glue it because I wrap it a few times. Make sure you pull it really tight. You can also use ribbon to do this if you want to buy a, sp a spool of ribbon to wrap it. I wanted to try it with the deco mesh. I hadn't seen any with the deco mesh. And then I just do several layers. You're just going to work up. And then just keep on um, taking your your mesh and folding it over. And I'd say that's probably about two inches the size that I folded it. And then you're just going to work up as you go. Make sure you pull it tight. This mesh is it's really easy to um, keep together and to maneuver. I thought it'd be um, more of a pain in the butt than what it is, but it, it's not. As you start going around the curve there, it does get a little bit, it gets it's easy to get loose. So.
I'm always pulling it and I'm it when I take my hand off of this part I've got my hand down here holding it so This one's going to take two. So I'm, I'm trying to make it to where you can't see the wire through the mesh. So that one, because of its dark, the red, it's, it covered pretty good. So it only took one roll. This one is a little lighter, so you can see it. So I'm having to use a little more but uh, more layers on it. Let's see. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna tie this in here. Making sure I had got all the staples out. I'm going to just take this and I'm going to tuck it up underneath the last layer. Okay, whenever I start this, I'm going to start it exactly like I did the last one. But I am going to I'm going to go up on the layer. Well, actually, I'm going to take it and I'm going to tuck it up underneath the layer. You could just find, find the, um, the layer there and tuck it up underneath it. Pull tight. right over and that should, should keep it secure. Whoops, <laughs> I pulled it too tight. Let's try that again. Also, we can put a zip tie right there too. Try it again. If it doesn't work again, I'll put a zip tie there. I want it too thick. I want it to blend.
if you get um, the six inch mesh from Hobby Lobby, one roll will be plenty because that's 10 yards. This dollar store mesh is, is only five yards, so. Whenever you wrap the bottom, let some hang over. I'm going to make sure it goes over because we got to tuck it around the end. Okay. Just cut it off. Now I'm going to take the end and I'm going to tuck it tuck it in and then I'm going to take this tail and I am going to put a zip tie to the bottom of it. See, I got to remember how I did the last one. I'm not going to do a zip tie. I'm going to take the um, floral wire because you won't be able to see the floral wire. Just a thin piece of floral wire. I did. I zip tied the other one. I can't remember. Oh, I know how I did it. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to look in and there you can see the green of one of the ones that runs on the front. That green wire. Just take your zip tie and run it right up underneath it. And it's easier said than done. Maybe I'll, I'll get it done. The other one that I did, it was it was not quite this hard, but you know they all are different. You never know. I can't get my finger there to get it. Okay, there. And another, you could just go ahead and put the zip tie there and have it ready too. It might be easier. tight and you could also hot glue it that might work I don't think hot glue works too good on mesh well where does it go And there it is. It's all ready to go. So that's the worst of all of it. That's the hardest work. <laughs> hey, Ginger. Okay, so the next um, thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to make the bow. And I'm going to, I'll show you. 
this is the easy way to make a bow. And um, I'll show you. Let's see. I thought I had some silver pot cleaner. I guess I don't. So we'll just use the white. Okay. So I'm going to first um, do my one and a half inch. And I've already got a piece cut, which I didn't know that. But So you kind of want to measure how far you want your, your tails. So I like about, I'd say eight inch tails. So that will be about to here. So you're gonna measure out your eight inch tail and you're gonna just pleat your ribbon in your fingers. And then I want my bow to be, I want it to be about that long. Let's see how long that is. So about 12 inches, okay? so. Keep your pleated in, measure out 12 inches, and then you're gonna just flip it around, and then you're just gonna pleat it into your fingers. Once you get it pleated in, take the back that you just went in, and you're gonna twist it and bring it forward. So that's one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do another one in the one and a half inch. So, let's measure out eight. Now this time I'm going to take it up. So I've got the loop up here so I want the tail up here. I'm going to put it behind my fingers and I'm just going to pleat it. And then I'm going to measure out 12 inches. I'm going to go around and Grab it with my fingers and pleat it. And when I get it pleated, I'm going to take it and twist it. And then I'm going to cut this off. Let's measure it. But you can have them all different. Actually, let's say all different lengths if you want. It doesn't have to be perfect on that. And then I'm going to do one more. So it's up. So now this time I'm going to go down. So I'm going to take where I measure, I'm going to put it in the back, pleat it, measure out 12 again for my loop, pleat it into my fingers. And then I'm going to twist it. Okay, so I'm done with that. So I'm going to hold all of these in my fingers while I do this. And you can do your your bow you can or your ribbon the same way like I showed you how to do your um your the witch's hat, the ribbon that we put at the top. You can do the bow for this that way too. Just cut you some strips and put them together. And oh, sorry, Teresa. Um, what did you miss? The bow? I'm about to do another one. This I'm going to use the two and a half inch this time. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just measuring on my mat. And I'm measuring eight inches. So my last um, two loops come down here. So I want this one up. I'm putting it behind my fingers and I'm just pleating it in to the rest. I'm going to measure, I'm going to do 12 inches for this bow too. Just wrap it around, grab it in behind with your fingers and then just pleat it into your fingers. And then I'm going to twist this. So I've got this loop or tail and I have this tail now. And then we'll cut it off. And I'm going to do another one. So my tails are up, so I want my tails down this time. Just 
put it in with all the other ribbon, same thing, and just pleat it into your fingers. Now your hands are going to be full of ribbon. Now I'm going to take it and I am going to, you can measure it, 12 inches. Pleat it into the loop, grab it with the, I lift up my middle finger and I just grab it in. My thumb's got the front and then all the other fingers have the back. So it's in my fingers and then I take it and I twist it. And I'm kind of maneuvering it which way I want it to go as I'm twisting it too. So I'm only going to do two of those. So I've got three of the one and a half inch and I've got two of these with my tails. So I've still, I've got my ribbon in my hands and I'm going to just take my pop cleaner and I put my pop cleaner here between my thumb and my forefinger, there's an opening, and I still, I'm holding it, and then I bring it to the back, and when I get it to the back and I tug it real tight, that's whenever I lift up my thumb to move it right where my thumb was holding it, but then I grab back, and then when I get it behind, I twist it super hard, really hard, and pull and twist, and then you can actually maneuver your bow, because when you tie it that tight, you can maneuver this bow, all these ribbons, any way you want, and they are not going to come loose. Okay. So I have um, my pot cleaner on the back, and I want to take, I want to put it about right there. So, you know what? Let me add, let me see. I want to add this to it too. I think I'm going to go with the silver. This is just um, Deco Flex tubing, and this is. Um, it's just got tinsel on it. It's real shiny. It's a lot shinier. It's very pretty. So, what I do with this, let me see. Can you see? When I make these, I measure out eight inches. So I have my tail. And I just pinch it in my finger. Then I take it. And I will measure out. I do 10 inches, pinch it, and then I just wrap it, and then I grab it in that finger. Then I take it again, and I lay it down, and I measure it. You don't have to pull on it either. Just, um, ha you know, you don't have to pull to make it tight. Just lay it down, and then I just, like a bow, bring it down. So now I have a bow, and it's in that finger. So this, I'm going to take it again, I'm going to measure out another 10 inches wrap it around and then one more time 10 inches wrap it around and then I've got eight inches and then I have this bow it's like a four loop bow okay I'm going to take a piece of my floral wire to wrap this. And same thing, just take it, put it in, pull it like this. And I always pull real tight with my pointer finger, I push down and twist and pull. It makes it makes it tight. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna add it. To the front of the bow. 
and I'll take the um, wire and I'm just going to wrap it around. So it's just like I added a layer to the top of it and cut it off, let a little bit stand up and you're going to take it and you're just going to twist it back in. Hi Brandon. Okay, so we got that. Now, you got to just put it up to your candy cane and then just you can just decide where you want it. And once you get it on, you can move or adjust all the ribbon tails and the ribbon however you want it. So, what I do, this mesh is is um you can thread right through it. So, I just take the um bow and I feel for cuz I want to make sure that I go on the outside of because there's two wires that's running through the candy cane. I want to go on one side, outside of one, and one the outside of the other. Because I want it wrapped around them. So I'm threading it right through that mesh. And this one's a little bit thicker than the other one. So you might have to play with it a little bit to get it through. Thank you, Roberta. Oh, gosh. And if you have a, um, if you're having a hard time, kind of just try and find the thinner area. This one isn't going as easy as the other. Even you can go through the layers too. So, okay, so I've got one. I'm going to do the other one. I'll turn it around for y'all to see. So it's sticking out the back, the pipe cleaners are. So once I get it out the back, I just take it and I'm going to just twist those pipe cleaners. Give them a few, give it a few twists. And then I cut it off. And then I have this little bit of a tail left. I'm going to take it and I'm going to bend it down. And I'm going to put it right in behind. And you can't see it. And the bow's secure. So then I just, I'm going to go around. I'm going to dovetail all of my ends of my ribbon. And you can do this before you put the bow on. I just, I usually just wait. And sometimes um, if some of the streamers are too long, you can cut them a little shorter. To whichever size you want.
here. I want to kind of maneuver this one down some. So I'm just going to pull it. that I would have done another one of those <clears throat> a third loop on that but it's fine okay so then now I want to I want to add a hanger to it so I put the hanger up at this area but this is what I have so far it's hard to really see how pretty it is but with the silver, it's very shiny. It's very pretty. Okay. Oh. Okay. Is the video still working? Am I still live? Okay. So I'm going to um, add these uh, sprays. And I got these at Hobby Lobby also, but it comes in, it looks like this in a bush, or a, they call it a spray. And I just cut it in two to get two. So I want to, I want to put this, I'm going to have to cut that down. I was thinking I want it to go like that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to cut cut it really short. I'll leave enough for, for me to get it under there to glue it. You can man maneuver them and shape them however you like. Wanting this probably right there. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a little hot glue if I can reach it, and I'm going to put some hot glue on it, and I'm going to take it and write where my bows are. I'm going to actually put, you could put it right up underneath where your boat, your ribbon and your mesh is and kind of push it into the mesh too. I'm going to see how that holds. I've not tried that, so I'm going to see how it holds. And if it doesn't, I have to figure out another way to put it on. Hey, Lourdes. Ooh, that stays. That's going to be cute. Can you see? Oh, this has turned out so cute. And if I wanted, I could put another one up here too. I think I'm going to leave it like this. I think that's enough. Or you could, you could choose to take your stuff. You can go this way and up there too. So... But let me show you how to put the um, hanger on, and we are, we'll be done. Okay. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a ribbon. And I just cut a little, um, this is, let's see. Uh, about six. Seven inches. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to gather it at the bottom. And take this. I've got to figure out where. 
on the food. Probably right there. I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner. Now let's see if I can make me a hole here. And you could just put a piece of pipe cleaner right through there to hold it too. But of course, I've got to have this on. I might be putting pipe cleaner. Just go tie it in a knot. Okay. Okay, when I got it good and snug, I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna hide it behind this mesh. You could cut your ribbon a little bit um, longer also to where you can um, to where you have a longer hanger. And then there's your you got a hanger there. That's the candy cane. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And also um, share, if you don't mind sharing it that way. And also if you share it, it goes to your page. And that way you'll have it, the video. So, okay. Thank you for joining me. And hope to see you next Tuesday. Have a good night.